Alright guys, good morning. We are at the ramp. It is like 6.15 and it is really dark out still, so I have to wait for about another 15 minutes before we can start loading everything up and heading out. But I really want to catch a big trout on top water in this spot that I'm about to go to. It has some giants. It is known for big trout so i'm hoping to get a big one on top water and if that doesn't happen i can always fish for some reds but big trout on top water that has been on my bucket list for quite some time and i think we can do it because it's gonna be flat calm out there for the first hour and we're gonna have about an hour to really hit this place hard and cover water with this top water plug so as soon as i get a little bit of light out in the water i'm gonna be heading out because i need as much time as possible to um cover enough water to catch one of these big trout you're fishing top water in the morning you do not want to waste time because you do you only have a small window to throw top water and then once that sun comes up too high the top water bite is off so hopefully i'll get some cloud cover too because that does help with top water bite too and um if i don't get anything within that little window that i usually have if uh if i have some cloud cover that should help me a lot and give me a little extra time but anyways enough talk let's get out there I'd say I only have about maybe 20 minutes left for top water then it's time to throw a spoon or a paddle tail. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, since I have to stand up, I'm just gonna leave the trolling motor running on the lowest setting. That way I can cover more water. And having it on the lowest setting is gonna have, it's gonna give me the best chance at not spooking something, but still being able to cover water. That was epic. Oh gosh. Oh, that was, that was just great. You know, don't you just love when that happens? All right, none of that. No more of that. That will not be tolerated. Gosh, isn't this not like the most beautiful morning ever? Flat calm, got a sunrise coming over trees oh my god look at the size of that fish are you kidding me dude dude that was a giant redfish that or a big trout which i doubt oh my god oh my god there's a giant fish over here are you kidding me dude look at the size of that wake oh my god are you kidding me someone else right there so I don't want to be too loud because that guy's probably gonna see him too. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna put on the cold spoon. Fuck this. Alright, I'm gonna put on the spoon. Because if these are big redfish, they're gonna demolish. These are giant redfish. Like the wakes they are putting up, these are easily overslots, like big overslots. Probably 30 to 40 inches. Big wake, big wake. Oh, I didn't reach him. Oh my god! One just... Are you kidding me? 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 Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I got a bite. I got my first bite. I am super freaking... Oh my god! What the heck? Oh my god, I didn't even see that fish. I didn't see that fish. I just felt the bump. Oh, dude, that was a big fish, too. Usually when they eat these spoons, they freaking eat it. Like no way they're coming off but he was kind of hesitant I guess either that or I jerked it away from him too, too fast I'm gonna stay in the general area just because I've seen so many wakes here I'm not gonna leave leave fish to go find fish I'm just gonna have to be real patient it's moving really really slow if I move too fast I'm gonna spook everything out of here uh oh I have a follow I have a follow I have a follow Oh, you son of a gun, dude. Oh, I 
felt a bump and he freaking just didn't commit. All right, I'm seeing fish, got two bites. Oh, I got a follow. Right, well, I had a follow. Dude, these things are not committing. Fish on, baby. Woo! Finally. Fish on. It's only a matter of time. Oh my god! Dude, this is a big this is a big fish. What the heck? It wasn't even Okay. That's what I have to say to that. Okay. I just want to scream, but there's another kayaker out here. That would be not courteous of me. The fish felt so light. No, no wonder. No wonder. That was probably like a 28 inch fish and that thing felt like it was, I don't know. The thing was easily upper slot, if not, I mean, it was, eh, it was probably like 26, 27. I couldn't, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. That was my first fish in this area because I fished it before and I caught absolutely nothing. But now I know what redfish want more than anything. Go ahead and watch the last video if you haven't after you watch this video because gold spoons are freaking redfish candy. If you throw a gold spoon, you are basically guaranteed a redfish. Trout and flounder hit them too, but not as much. Got him that time. Stuck him, stick him, stick him, stick him. Ah. <sighs> Dang it. Ah. Oh. What the heck? I didn't even hook him in the mouth. Yeah, I did. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I lose. I lose the upper slot to over slot fish but I catch this little thing. This is like a 14 inch redfish, not even kidding. Like that's probably one of the smallest redfish I've ever caught on an artificial lure. <laughs> I've been seeing these big fish everywhere in here and I catch that little thing. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, bro. Of course that one was hooked really good and that one wasn't gonna come off, but of course the the upper slot comes off. Got another one. Got another one. Ah, oh, that's a baby. Another baby. Another baby. Fun though. Fun. Gosh, wow, these are, these are smaller than the regular schoolies. Oh gosh, sorry little buddy. I think I poked him in the eye a little bit with the, with the weed guard. There might be a school over there. Because I cast at the exact same spot. That's the exact same spot where I caught that last red fish. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna go over a few things about my trip. So I got there really early to hit the topwater bite and I caught nothing on topwater. My friend David that went with me, he actually caught a 22 or 23 inch trout on topwater in the morning. And then after that, that was pretty much it. Um, when that sun came up, the fish kind of just stopped, stopped biting. Um, throughout the day, I caught four rat reds. That's three, but four rat reds. Uh, two of which I didn't film, and I lost that bigger redfish. So, um, that losing that bigger redfish kind of ruined my trip because I was the only fish, I was the only decent fish that I hooked. But, um, you know, that's whatever. I'll just go back there and catch another one. So, I will be going back there because that place is known for big fish. So, I'm definitely not going to give up on that spot. But, anyways, this is what I was using on the topwater bite, which I didn't, 
I didn't catch anything. It was just a little topwater plug, and I'm not going to go over that because I didn't catch anything. And plus, I've never caught a redfish on topwater, so I didn't really have much confidence in that. As soon as I started seeing redfish, switched over to the gold spoon. So anyways, not very eventful, but caught a couple fish. That's all that matters. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. That really helps me out. Also, leave a comment if you want to. Um, let me know what you think about the video or whatever. Just leave a comment about whatever. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.